Baseball, sure, basketball, you bet, but bowling? The local school with its own lanes ahead. Some Pawtucket kids have something new to do in their spare time. <laughs> That's the pun. Bowling. Bowling's nothing new, of course, but the bowling alley inside the Alternative Tide School is. NBC10 photojournalist Drew Furtado takes a look. It started as a joke. I'd never worked on a bowling alley before. We were putting in extra incentives for the kids. Uh, Pete said, how great would it be if we could get a bowling alley in this place? We looked at each other and said, we can do that. It's a, it's a joke. And I found the owner, uh, the new owner uh, of Lincoln Lanes, and we went down there. They had one lane left. I think that's the, uh, the wood for nothing, and everything else has been donated from different parts of the country. We had no idea what we were in for. It took, like, the whole school to just bring this out, this, this lane right in. In order to bowl, you're going to have to set the pins. We had conduit pipe donated to us. We have it on a an angle, slight angle, so the ball doesn't go too fast, and uh, basically a, like a roller coaster, a system that brings it back to them. And if the environment is is safe and nurturing, um, the kids are going to learn. Kids signing from school for size, you know, getting, getting a diploma. I mean, a place like Tides, um, behavior and education are are really intertwined. And so when a bowling alley comes in and the kids, you know, they will do their history work. They will do, they'll take the extra time to, to study and do that quiz that they need to do instead of blowing it off or just not come to school that day. If this is something that's going to get them to do that, then I'm all for it. The Tide School, what a creative approach. Uh, in addition to the bowling alley, they have other school activities that are designed to keep these at-risk students in school. They have pool tables, they have air hockey tables, they have video games, and they just want to slow down that dropout rate. They're all set there. Now the students at One Providence...